This is the Slag Hag Mega Truck. I didn't think I'd ever get to putting it together. I've had this frame for almost two years and it was a gift and it's a pretty awesome fucking gift. So, I was lost with the axles. I mean, it was just gonna be a one run piece of junk. So I stopped working on it and I just started looking and looking and collecting parts. Rudy's Truck Parts in Chesapeake, Virginia helped me out a ton. Overtime CNC in Curry Tuck, North Carolina helped me out a ton. And now, I'm basically gonna have a roller here within the next couple of days. You're on, this Merce. This ain't no baby mama. You're on, Merce. This is a monster. <laughs> little monster. So now I'm a little monster. <laughs> Rudy from Rudy's Truck Parts is the one that saved it from the scrapyard. And, uh, you know, it wasn't scrap to him, it was treasure, and it was something he was going to keep forever. But he watches me down at Dennis Anderson's, he's at every event, and uh, I guess I impressed him enough that he wanted to give it to me. <laughs> guess about the time was about the time we had Digger we went down there and Digger I think was like three or four months old he won his first race on the power wheels I got a picture of him with the trophy at like four months old he's got this we trophy. just set him I set him on the quad and tape and rubber banded the get the throttle and picked it up and then set him down and he went you know so that was his first race at four months old and Everybody was talking, Dennis, Dennis was telling everybody, you know, they named their boy Digger, you know. <laughs> so, Rudy came up to me, and I'd known him, and he'd offered to help me a bunch before. Hey, my name's Rudy. Hey, I know who you are. You got a fucking VIP stand at Dennis Anderson's track. I know who you are because you can't see past his stand. I got to stand under it to try and see what's going on if I ever get the chance to go look. So, Man, you ever need anything, come by. I never did because I always do that with everybody. I, you know, a lot of people offer me stuff and I don't always take them up on it. But then he came to me that, that day. Man, I've got old Digger number three chassis. Okay, I'm listening now. I think you ought to come by and check it out. Okay. <laughs> you know, I think I went home for a day and threw a trailer on the back of my truck and threw the family in. We went back down there, Chesapeake, Virginia, and uh, he sent me home with the old frame from. And uh, that's pretty cool. That's that's pretty unbelievable. You know, I didn't I didn't I always want to build another truck, and I and I figured my next truck will be a step up from the one I have, and I'll improve all the things that I didn't do right on the last one. I never thought I'd go backwards and start with something old to build something new, but starting with something that old that's got that much history to it, I, I is given this 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 truck already has a heartbeat. It was almost dead, but I revived it. I got the frame, I brought it home here. I I got it lifted up on the jack stands, and and it just kind of sat. I didn't have enough parts to put it together right, and I I. I tinkered with it for a while. I cut some stuff off the frame to make this cab fit. So, so I started to give it my my sense of. This was the first fiberglass digger when it was put together. It was the first four link digger. So it was a revolutionary thing. You know, make it lightweight and have better suspension. Well, I'm gonna. I like the better suspension, but for me, I think. The, the fiberglass, were, I'm a monster truck fan. I'm a mega truck guy, I'm a monster truck fan. And I think when they switched to fiberglass, it really took some soul out of the trucks. If Dennis Anderson would come out tomorrow and say, hey guys, I done a little thinking, and I think I'm tired of looking at old digger number one sitting in my yard here. So we're gonna throw a big old motor in there, and I'm gonna come out tomorrow and run it. Dude. I would fucking, we would be there in fucking five hours. It's an eight hour ride, we'd be there in five hours because I want to see that. So when I, when I took this project on, I hope I'm not 
disgracing its legacy by putting that old rusty steel body on there. But that's me. Old war machine that was built to help kill people. And instead, I'm going to turn around. And here at the Dirt Church, we don't like that sort of thing. So I turn it around, and I'm going to make it something that entertains people. Instead of killing people, we're entertaining people. And I think that's what's important in life. We should have a little fun, spread our seeds, and try and entertain people around us. Because that's all you got. That's all you got when you're done, what you left behind you. And I left behind a little video, and I'm going to entertain your asses. The goal is that uh, I'm going to run this truck for the people that have helped me. I'm going to take it to the place where the people are that have been helping me and supporting me all this time and, and keeping me going and keeping me motivated. So uh, I'm motivated anyway. I got all these things in my head that I want. I mean, I sat in in-school suspension dreaming about these things when I was a kid. Dreaming about one truck. Now I've got 30. <laughs> you know, I just happen, I could just never leave home and have things to do for the rest of my life. If I live till I'm 100, I'll have something to do every single day. I just make things. Yeah. <laughs> so, what you gonna do a backflip, mama? Get her. Woo! Oh, she's scared. <laughs> so, as it turns out, uh, people actually really like it when you break everything. When I was a kid, I had a Bigfoot shirt. It was a hand-me-down. So, I liked monster trucks, but the only one I knew was Bigfoot. And it said on the shirt that he was the king of monster trucks. And then I went, I got a chance to go see monster trucks only once when I was a kid, only once when they were driving. And I had my Bigfoot shirt, and I was looking for Bigfoot. And I was all pissed off as a little kid because Bigfoot wasn't there. But Gravedigger was there. And it was the first time I ever heard of it and the first time I ever saw it. And I left there that day with a Gravedigger t-shirt on. Now, I got old Digger number three sitting behind me. So, that's pretty neat.